Well, picture this. A photographer comes into a store to order film and has to wait because the supply is low. Film photography has recently been making a comeback in the Quad Cities, and film stores have seen a rise in business since the start of the pandemic. Local 4's Linda Cook shows us this renowned interest that many in the area have been getting into. Film photography is such a popular hobby among young Quad Cityans, as well as longtime film buffs, that Camera Corner in Davenport has trouble keeping film on hand. Ted Doty, owner of Camera Corner, says many of his customers are young people discovering film for the first time. I think the younger generation likes to play with different things and wants to see and experience what was in the past. Nostalgia and the allure of something different also play a part. It's mechanical, it's, it's something that they can put their hands on and, and actually play with and it's not uh, a digital aspect, you know, it's not the phone, it's not uh, a computer, it's, it's hard, it's metally, it's, it's, it's physical. With the technology new to them, some young photographers are looking into the past. They like to replicate and try to give the uh, illusion of, of days past, you know, back in the 1900s where you kind of had that uh, rough kind of look of photography. It wasn't crisp, it wasn't clean, it wasn't perfect, it was real. When they're not taking a view of the past, they're looking into what's new around them currently. The I-74 bridge has is, is been an, an iconic one that we've seen. People are photographing it with film of the bridge to kind of, I think, show the new process coming through. The surprises are also delightful for customers who bring their projectors and cameras to Eric A. Pohl at United Camera Repair in Rock Island. People are actually having time to sit down and go through grandma and grandpa's slides and uh, so forth. A lot of these projectors have failures because of age. They have nothing to do with how they're taken care of. The plastics they use to become brittle. So you turn it on and the gear cracks or, or belt snaps just from age. The oldest projector in the shop is hand cranked and is a little more than a century old. He rebuilt it when it arrived in pieces in a box. Regardless of their vintage, Pohl fixes cameras and projectors that continue to link to both the past and a modern day trend in the Quad Cities. I'm Linda Cook for Local 4 News. Thank you for that report, Linda. And pricing for film isn't cheap. It starts at $6 a roll and can go up to $12 for each, depending on the film type. Cameras range from $10 to $150. Well, whether you